We are going to global mass adoption and the bigger picture for crypto, and we're bringing on Anthony Pompliano, aka Pom. Uh, welcome to the show, Pom. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. sorry, hey, <laughs> sorry, a little doing? delay there. Hey there, how are you? Um, so discussing mass adoption, I'm going to let you guys sort of chat it out if you want, um, but wanted to get the ball rolling by asking you all whether you see COVID-19 and the subsequent consequences of that, so high unemployment, lockdowns, et cetera, et cetera, whether you think that's going to turn more people towards crypto. Um, Pomp, go ahead, since you're the, since you're the new guest. Yeah, I don't know if COVID necessarily does it. Uh, I think the response to COVID probably does. Uh, and mainly you're going to see central banks around the world print trillions of dollars. And the fear of inflation, whether it actually happens or not, will drive people to, uh, one, seek out something like a Bitcoin that's an inflation hedge. And then two is as currencies fail, people will look for ways to uh, be able to store value or move value uh, easier. And as we see in places like Lebanon, et cetera, where there's just a lot of capital controls and um, kind of nefarious behavior from banks and governments, uh, I think people will seek out assets that only require an internet connection uh, to be able to uh, transact. And so that's you know super bullish for Bitcoin uh, and crypto in general. CZ, you want to add on to that? Um, I think basically Pump says it really, really well. Pump has a way to uh, uh, present uh, num uh, present uh, in, a, in a very concise way. I think there's there are also some secondary sort of further implications that we have not seen yet. Uh, with with governments bailing out com uh, big companies that are, that are deemed too big to fail, but any company that requires bailout is basically mismanaged uh, uh, by definition. And those long-term impacts are severe. Um, so who's going to bail out the the, the, uh, the government uh, uh, um, when you have a bunch of when you if you're an investment firm if you're a fund investing in a lot of failed companies then the funds are not going to do well. So those are longer secondary effects. Um, hyperinflation is another one that Pump already mentioned. Um, so there's there's a lot of longer term effects that people don't think about just yet. But I think those things are also very. Um, those longer term uh, impacts are actually very painful uh, and very impactful over the longer term horizon. They, 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 don't show up, they don't show up on the second day, but when they slowly do show up, uh, those impacts are huge. So um, I think this is, as many people say, this is the perfect storm for cryptocurrencies. Yeah, um, just sort of circling back on some of that. Um, you know, I think the short term, in the short term, people are quite happy maybe with what the governments are doing. At least uh, maybe this is just like you, my, my U.S. mind, um, but people seem to be quite happy because they're getting, you know, free stimulus money. And so they see the governments as sort of taking care of them. Um, Pomp, how, I guess, how would you react to that, to, to that sentiment? Yeah, I mean, look, everyone's a rational actor to some degree. And so if you've lost your job, right, there's 30 plus a million Americans who have lost their job. Uh, you need to pay your rent, you need to buy food, uh, you're worried. And so you really don't care where the help or relief comes from, whether that's through a PPP loan uh, that your employer is able to, to then hand over to you, whether it is through a stimulus check or through a kind of beefed up unemployment. The important part is you're able to get um, you know, money in your bank account and, and feel some level of safety. Uh, I think what we've got to remember is, um, one, culturally, we've lost uh, this sense of personal responsibility. Right. Um, and, and I think that that's going to end up being a very dangerous thing over a long period of time. Um, the sentiment right now is people are looking around uh, and, and looking to everyone else to help them. Right. And, and I don't think that that's very healthy over the long term, but short term wise, uh, if somebody steps in and helps you, whether it's a bailout of a big business, it's a stimulus check, uh, it's beefed up unemployment, it feels good because your, your fears are kind of uh, put at bay. Um, I think to CZ's point, the, the big question is what is the longer term impact? And ultimately, what we're seeing governments really do is they're making short term decisions. Uh, because remember, politicians' incentive is to get reelected in November, right? Or get reelected in two years. And so um, they have kind of very short term type um, incentives that are, are uh, actually almost opposite of the long term incentive of, of doing the things that uh, build a very resilient economy or country. Yeah, fair enough. So I'm, I'm really sorry to have to wrap this up. I would love to continue that conversation. And honestly, I would love to debate you on that because there are several things that you said that I was like, mm, I don't know, that doesn't, 
that doesn't square. Um, but Anthony Pompliano, thank you so much for joining us. CZ, also thank you for joining us. And for everybody watching, um, there will be more Coindesk TV. Uh, we're just handing it over to our Asian partners. And then please join us on the Keynotes exclusives track where I will be doing an AMA with CZ. So we'll see you over there soon. Thank you guys so much.